You said you were using uranium marbles to get the counts on your Geiger counter for your random number generator. And I thought I'd show you. Um, I have some uranium glass. It's a little arrow from a elevator. Um, but what I wanted to show you is this. You were talking about things that are not too dangerous. So this is a, a lantern mantle. And there's two different kinds. One is the old style, which has thorium in it. That makes them nice, white, and bright. And the other ones, yeah, I think they have yttrium in them, and they, they're more yellow. And um, of course, if you want nice, white, and bright, like I have in my Coleman mantle or Coleman lantern, you want one of these. But uh, if you have a Geiger counter, it's also more fun. So let me show you the difference between the uranium glass and this. And if you look up the thorium mantles, um, pretty much everything you find will say that it's an alpha emitter. And alpha emitters are not going to go through the GM tube that you have because it's metal and it doesn't have a mica window. I don't. I think he said. Uh, so let me pop out my Geiger counter here real quick. Or I should say one of them. I have like 11. There's a gigantic glass GM tube in this thing. And let's see. So I just moved the camera so you couldn't see what I was doing, but just turn this to the most sensitive step and turn on the clickiator. I actually said clickiator. I meant to say clicker. <laughs> so, um, so if I take the uranium glass, I've got the window open so you can see the you can see the metal of the GM tube. It's pretty similar to your Russian one. Um, I think you have an SM20, right? Um, so it's a little bit better than background but it's not a lot better than background. However, if you take the mantle, um, if you put it on the um, shielded side, it doesn't really do much, but when the tube is exposed, even through the plastic, there's enough beta, there's enough beta decay to give you quite a few counts. So if you were to take this out of the package, and I think there are two in here, right? Um, so if you take one of these out of the package and wrap it around that tube, you'd get some pretty good counts. And this is probably about as safe as you can get. Um, you know, I wouldn't sleep on it, but um, beta particles just barely go through anything. Um, and, the, and all the alpha particles that are being generated by this, we can't even see because they're being blocked by the metal of the tube. So anyway, Thought I'd share.